I never imagined that I would be making a video to commemorate, I guess, the five-year anniversary of my mom dying. It's something that I never thought would actually happen, as weird and as crazy as that sounds, but it is. I think a lot about the notion that there's gonna come a time that I will probably be alive longer than I have known my mom and you know the, the 21 years that I've actually known her can really be amounted to like maybe 18 years because the first couple of years you know I didn't even know what the concept of a mom was. That thought always scares me every single time I think of it that way. I wasn't an already established adult who knew who he was. I didn't really know a whole lot about the world, I certainly didn't know who I was, and I still needed a lot of guidance from parents, especially my mom who I was now at that age of 21, 20, 19, was finally getting the chance to really pull my head out of my ass and stop being a, uh, a bad teenager and, you know, actually having a conversation with my mom and actually really enjoying her company and really enjoying the idea that we would grow old together in a sense, you know? I was looking forward to, you know, showing her things that I've accomplished, uh, introducing her to girlfriends and uh, telling her uh, I'm getting married, and, you know, how she's gonna be a grandma. <laughs> Those are things that I don't really get to do anymore. What is this video about? It's to commemorate uh, the five-year anniversary of my mother's passing, which, since it is a, I guess, milestone, if you will, um, I decided to re-watch two videos on my YouTube channel specifically. Both of these videos, I believe I've taken down. One was a family update video saying, hey, I have a family emergency, and the other video is from a series which I don't do anymore, about, I think if I remember, just explaining my situation with my mom, and I believe it's me talking about how she passed away. That second video was I think the first video that I actually got 1,000 over 1,000 viewership, which I'm I'm a small channel. I don't really care about viewership. I am mostly doing this for my own creative purposes. Your first milestone, I suppose, of over 1,000 views, mostly of course being viewership from the community around you, people that know you. I didn't want that to be you know, like, <laughs> on my YouTube page, like, most popular videos be talking about my dead mom. You know, it, it's just, a, at the time, and still to this day, kind of a bad reminder, and, you know, not something I look fondly back on. So I privated those videos, and I haven't watched them in probably five years. So I thought with this milestone of an anniversary, I would go watch both the videos and see, kind of reflect on who I was at the time, what I was kind of going with. I believe it's under family. I had short hair back then, it's crazy. Uh, there's a lot of people in my life now that I met and interact with on a day-to-day -day basis uh, that d have never known me with short hair, and it's super weird to think about that. Even looking at both these videos, I, I, I'm already feeling like a, a, a tightness in my gut. Hey everyone, this is McHugh. Um, sorry this isn't, uh, a very traditional one of my videos, but, uh, I've kind of hit, uh, well, I, I, there's a family emergency that I, I need to attend. Um, it kind of just sprung up on the whole family, and, uh, I, uh, I, I need to do this, and... Uh, so, uh, anyways, uh, so there will not be a regularly, sc regularly scheduled toilet talk this Sunday, nor will there be, um, any videos, uh, today, Saturday, the toilet talk, possibly Monday, possibly Tuesday, gonna try to get a video out on Monday and Tuesday at least, but, um, 
I'm not sure what's going to happen. Um, I'll I'll definitely explain everything. Uh, just right now, I just need to figure this part out real quick. Um, thank you for understanding, um, and I will definitely let you guys know what's going on. Um, that's all I can really say for now, except for uh, I'm I apologize for having to do this, but it is a family emergency and it needs to be taken care of. So uh, thank you for understanding and thank you for watching and supporting me in any way. Uh, I got really nothing else to say, but uh, I will see you you in the next video. A lot of, wow, I, I just had so many thoughts re-watching that for like the first time. Um, first of all, my hair, that's when I first started growing up my hair. So like, it's really awkward. So it's kind of, I, I couldn't stop thinking and looking at that. I also noticed that my, uh, the way I was trying to talk about, like, dance around the subject, I, I, I still tend to do this, um, when I'm, you know, talking around, uh, uh, dancing around the subject and talking about stuff, like, I'm, I'm doing it right now. I didn't really want to exactly say, and, um, that's kind of a weird thing with me, I, I always feel like, I, I always treat, like, when I'm talking, when I'm talking to a camera or anything, uh, creatively that I'm talking to an audience, even though I have none. <laughs> I remember filming that sort of, like, I, that does, this does seem like a video response I would make, um, way back in, uh, 2016. And it was, uh, from my phone, uh, obviously. I can't really tell you what my thought process was. Obviously, like, grief and, you know, uh, there was, um, uh, hints of, like, worrisomeness. And, uh, I'm, Kind of curious why I didn't really just say, you know, hey, my mom's in, like, a critical condition, so to speak. I'm not sure why I, you know, was kind of hiding. You know what? Actually, I do. One, on top of me, not sure what was going to happen. I didn't really know what I was feeling. Uh, I didn't know if it was things were going to be better or worse. I feel like I was trying to hold on to the hope that things would get better, that I didn't want to you know, jinx myself, so to speak. I was definitely not sure how to really say that in a way that while I was trying to keep a regular schedule at the time for uploading uh, videos, um, but it was also something that I was obviously near and dear to my heart. Um, here's a weird video. Very strange. But this is this is also a, 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 a Nick that really didn't know um, himself that well, didn't know how to carry himself, and was just kind of bumbling around making videos because um, it, that's what uh, he, uh, that's what made him feel good, and that's what he loved to do. We'll go to um, <clears throat> the Toilet Talk version. Uh, this is, was a series that I used to do where I just talk about stuff. I really didn't know what I was doing, <laughs> but this is a little bit longer video. Hey guys, how's it going? Um, this is an update to the uh, previous video that I uploaded, the uh, family emergency. Um, I'll just start with a little backstory, I suppose. Um, nine years ago, my mom was diagnosed with melanoma, which is a form of cancer, uh, and then later she was. Sorry, I'm pausing this. Um, I just want to kind of flex on myself just like and, and it's not perfect but just how much my diction and um how much i've improved in speaking uh, this was before i even uh decided to do a uh, voiceover um but definitely during this time i uh given too much thought and like um, practice and training on how to properly enunciate things, and it's just kind of cringy, but in a way gratifying to know that I've improved with my diction and improving and stuff like that. So I don't know, just something that I'm just like, ugh, dude, you need to you need to enunciate a little bit better. But at that time, I didn't really know that's what I fully wanted to do. And even today, still, I I still suck at enunciating things. It's just um. Kind of hard for me, always has been. I was diagnosed with breast cancer. A little bit of time has passed since uh, the breast cancer, and she is now a breast cancer survivor. However, the uh, melanoma still stuck around, and I believe um, she got diagnosed with another type of melanoma. Um, not quite exactly sure on that, but um, 
for the past uh, three months, her health has been uh, failing quite rapidly, and uh, now we're in the uh, stages of trying to admit her into hospice care. Now, uh, for those who don't know what hospice care is, it's um, uh, it's a uh, a nurse that comes and takes care of um, dying patients or patients that are expected to die within, I believe, uh, 90 days. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that it is the end for my mom. Uh, my grandpa, he was put into hospice care, but his uh, illness went into remission, so he got out of hospice care. Um, oh, I forgot to turn on the light. That's a little bit better. Um, but anyways, uh, so that was the uh, family emergency. Uh, I went, uh, she's currently uh, with my aunt and uncle. She's living with them at the moment because there's a uh, hospital there uh, in Iowa City that has uh, a really good cancer department there. Uh, that's where she's been going for um, a while now for some stuff, but uh, recently she went up there and um, got to do regular stuff, but her blood test didn't really turn out the best, so she stayed there, and uh, I went up there um, this over the weekend, um, and yeah, uh, it's um, not really good, it's uh, pretty bad actually. What? When exactly? What's the date that I recorded? March 6th? This was after I saw her for the last time. Okay. It's been a while since I've seen this. Uh, I'm not sure what exactly is going to happen. I'm uh, staying strong for my family, um, my dad and my sister. Uh, but I thought I'd give everyone an update on all this that's been happening um so i guess for going forward with this channel um i'm gonna try to keep uploading every single day um forgive me if i don't upload every single day just i may not feel up to recording uh, i may feel too tired or something along the lines of that uh i apologize for that um it's just been a very tough time for the family uh so i'm gonna try my best to continue uploading um i think it is healthy for me to keep doing my routine and try to make things relatively as normal as normal as possible i mean it it won't be normal but it'll help um so yeah i'm gonna keep trying to upload every single day may not get to it but i hope you can understand if i miss a couple of days um i was actually thinking about going back to my old upload schedule which was um upload like i think every monday friday wednesday and saturdays or something like that i i don't really know um it just really depends on how i'm feeling uh yeah um i guess there's uh there's some other things i want to say but i uh can't quite think of it slash uh i don't think i'm ready to say so uh, uh oh um psychologically and emotionally um i'm doing pretty much as how you would expect uh, keeping strong for my family, and, um, you know, taking it one day at a time, so, all things considered, I'm doing okay, I've accepted the fact that everyone dies, uh, sometimes sooner than others, um, so yeah, uh, that part of me is just fine, um, so that's really all I have to say for this video, I know it's not a traditional toilet talk or uh, anything else that I've done. This is more just an update video and uh, finally in the house so I don't have to take care of any cats. Um, I guess I'll use this time to shamelessly advertise uh, the Oblivion 
long play, I guess, um, <laughs> vlog cast that uh, will premiere on March 20th uh, with the first two episodes out. So that's still a go. Um, I will probably watch that myself just to have some laughs because uh, that that vlog cast that me and uh, Patrick are doing is uh, really funny and uh, um, it brings me a lot of joy watching that um, and just having a good time and talking about fun stuff. So uh, yeah, I'd, um, watch it if you're so inclined. Uh, I'm pretty happy about it, uh, pretty proud of it. So that's there uh, March the 20th, that's when it premieres. Along with the toilet talk, which will probably be scheduled on that day, maybe we'll we'll see with how everything's going. But yeah, so I thought I'd just let everyone know um, what's going on and how I'm doing and stuff. So um, I guess that's it for this video. So thank you so much for um, watching any of my videos or supporting me in any way. I really do mean it. Did my computer just turn off. Oh, that's weird. It went to sleep. That's, it turned it so it never goes to sleep. That's weird. Um, anyways, uh, thank you so much for everything. Um, I think doing these videos is uh, going to be good for me. Um, so, yeah, I'm, now I'm just rambling, so uh, I'll end it here. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later. All right. Well, one thing's for for certain, uh, I never got the habit of me just rambling on on and out of my system. <laughs> that screamed to me a younger me that was not sure of the future, obviously. Um, but m more specifically, that screamed a, a younger me that didn't know who he was. I'm still figuring out who I am. I have way better understanding of who I am compared to uh, 2016 version of me. Wow. I really have- I have not seen that since 2016. I think I watched it once because I, I saw that it, um, <laughs> it blew up with a thousand views in 2016. <laughs> I watched it once and then later I decided, you know what, I don't want this to be my highest viewed a video on my channel so i i private private that one i'm not sure if the other one's private or not but regardless wow that's crazy that's super nuts i spoke earlier about how i was dancing around the the, the subject of you know not exactly saying um what was on my mind you know and <clears throat> what re-watching this i remember why i did that specifically because I had it in my head that if I thought positive and if I just didn't really talk about it or like jinx myself, I think is the more accurate term, then it wouldn't happen. It'd be okay. So that's why my choice of words are very selective and methodical about not talking about um, my mom dying. And it's pretty evident uh, in both the videos that I, I just didn't, I didn't want to jinx myself because I have a vivid memory of the day, um, the, 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 the evening before the last evening I saw my mom. I remember watching, um, Fuller House because my family really likes Full House for some reason. We're watching the sequel on Netflix and I remember trying to make my mom just eat a little bit of food, just drink a little bit of water because she really wasn't eating or drinking at the time. And I had in my head, you know, if I can just get her to drink some water, eat a little bit of food, her strength will slowly return and everything will be fine. I, I remember that vividly, thinking that and, uh, and trying to uh, get my mom to drink water and whatnot. I, I was even having this thought when I was going for a run earlier today about uh, making this video and thinking about that, uh, those last hours that I spent with my mom. I know she probably wanted to keep fighting, but I think at that point she was just done. She, uh, that following evening, um, where we all thought that that was, uh, gonna be it for her, um, she 
kind of became a little bit delirious. Um, she uh, didn't really know who was around her, where she was. It was a hard thing to watch. Um, I remember my sister uh, crying and I just kind of, you know, gave her a side hug on the couch. And, um, as we were watching, uh, my mom just kind of uh, writhed in pain, I guess. I wasn't really quite sure what exactly it was. It, it looked like she was writhing in pain, though. I, it, it was definitely a hard thing to watch. And um, this video was from March 6, 2016, which would have been two days before she passed away. So I must have made this video right when I came back home from Iowa City. And, and I think I remember the day that I got the call because I went back to Iowa City because I had to go to work. Um, and I believe, this is where my memory gets a little bit foggy, but I believe I remember driving home from, it was either work or going to a, or coming back home from a, uh, one of my friends' house. We were either playing Hero Clicks or we were playing Dungeons and Dragons, and I remember just having a grand time. And I, I remember not feeling anything but just, you know, just pure inner happiness because I was just happy at the time. You know, I, I, I there are some funny moments to be had when I, at my friend's house or when it, wherever it's coming from, and I was like playing tunes, I was like just jamming, uh, going down the highway. And looking back now, um, I it was pretty good for me because you know I, I was just so obviously just stressed out and just thinking about uh, my mom, and I remember. I got home, I kind of sat on my bed over there on the edge, on uh, that side, specifically, you can't see it, but... <clears throat> and I remember my phone ringing, and it was my dad. And to back the story up a little bit, when I left Iowa City, um, my dad told me that he'd give me a call if um, uh, my mom's health would change. And I knew it was not good, um, so when I saw my dad on the caller ID, I just knew that she was gone. I already knew that she was gone. So I uh, uh, opened the phone. Oh, um, opened the phone. I, I, I <clears throat> accepted the call. And uh, I remember talking to my dad, just saying hello. And my dad saying, hey, can you FaceTime? I'm like, yeah, I can FaceTime. Um, and uh, what followed suit was my dad saying, um, yeah, uh, mom passed away. And... Uh, my sister was in the room, um, my, I think my aunt, uncle, and, um, cousin, one of my cousins was, uh, in the hospice room with my mom, and, uh, my dad kind of showed the camera, showed me, um, uh, my mom, and just kind of, everyone was kind of silently crying to themselves. Yeah, I, I, as soon as I saw my dad call me, I, I just, I just knew that, um, she was gone. Wow, it's... Oh boy, it's amazing how much you change. I've changed because of, I guess, everything bad and all the adversity I had to face uh, the past five years. I know myself quite a bit more. I know what I stand for. I figure out what I like, what I don't like. Every day is kind of... A little bit more interesting to me, knowing the fact that I get to learn a little bit more about myself. I, I, I rapidly had to become an adult um, very quickly, and uh, whether that uh, has hurt me psychologically, uh, it certainly has done a number on various aspects of me, but I have grown a lot through, through a lot of sadness, depression, fire, anger, self-reflection, Hope, following what I want to do. I've grown so much in the past five years. It's it's uncanny, and um, yeah, I I don't really know how to end this video, but I do know that I make these videos purely for my sake, purely because I love doing this, and it's a video diary to myself. One that I can look back on and see how far I've come and how much I've grown and where I was and what I was thinking um, at the time. As much as it's weird to see these videos, I'm glad I did it because I can look back and it's 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 a 
timestamp of my life that I can revisit the, the, these memories and yeah, yeah, that's why I do this. Oh, how do you end a video like this? I really, I really don't know. <laughs> um, all right, well, that will be it for for me. If you've been through this, uh, through my YouTube channel or just like uh, my follow, my uh, presence on the internet, um, thank you for sticking with me. It's incredible. And uh, if you're watching this and know me personally, um, you know how far I've come. You know who I am. Uh, I'm like every other person just trying to figure out what to do in life. If you know me personally, from the bottom of my heart, thank you. Uh, even if our interactions between each other have been little or minuscule, just know that you're loved, people depend on you, and I'm, I I'm certainly happy that um, we met or talked or interacted because that small instance where we got to interact, it's helped me become who I am, no matter if it was just a sentence or um, lifelong memories or a long-time friendship. It's who I am now, thanks to you. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Love you, Mom.